Hi guys, Angie Tanini Rogers here, and I just wanted to show you quickly um, how to build a capture page using Epic um, Epic Squeeze. It is a WordPress. Goodness gracious, I cannot speak today. It's a WordPress plugin, and it's called Epic Squeeze, and it's super easy. And I'm just going to show you quickly how to build a capture page uh, for whatever it is that you are doing in just a couple of minutes. So I'm going to go to my um, Epic Squeeze, and if this has been installed on a um, uh, a domain um, under the WordPress WordPress uh, plugins. Okay, so these are all my pages. I'm just going to go ahead and add a new page. I'm just going to walk you through through the process. Um, so let's see. We're just going to do a test page, test page, and whatever you want to show up in you on your um, um, add on the capture page uh, you're going to go ahead and put in here so you might say something like make 300 uh, per day using this brand new system no recruiting or traffic needed okay and let's go to visual let's say I want to make it red so I'm going to go to visual and we're going to make it red. Oops. Just say that. Make it bold. Uh, and I'm going to go back to text over here. And I am going to put a break in, in there so that it will uh, kind of line up correctly. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go down here and you're going to make the epic squeeze status um, active. You want to put your AWeber list name or um, it could be any of these. So get response, MailChimp, uh, One Shopping Card, or EB, EBiz AC. I've got AWeber, which actually happens to be down right now. So that's not, that's not uh, very good. So it's always nice to have a backup. Um, so I also have get response uh, that I am starting to use at the moment just in, in lieu of AWeber being down. It's been down for almost 48 hours, so that's a bummer. Okay, so anyway, you're going to put your AWeber list name in here. You're going to put your link that you want the uh, Epic, I'm sorry, the um, Squeeze page to go to. So I'm just going to choose this one over here. This is uh, the Bitly site. Just a, It's a shortener site and it helps to track. It's a free site that you can use to help track your links and your, your clicks on your links. So I'm going to use this. Uh, it's the landing page that I want to show up behind the capture page. So the background, uh, this plugin has built in where you can choose anything you want. So let's see, say I want to choose beaches. You just search that and all of these things show up. Okay, so you can just choose whatever you want and it will load up. Uh, I'll just show you another example. Let's say you want, um, let's say, raining money. And the backgrounds that you choose are completely up to you. You know, you, you can choose whatever you want. So here are some different ones that have raining money. Okay. Um, you know, you can choose anything at all. Babies. You can choose some, you know, anything from here. So whatever the, the thing is you're looking for, you play with it and you uh, figure out what you want to do. So I'm just going to go back to beaches and I'm going to choose one of these quickly and I'll show you how that works. Searching. Okay. So we can just grab one of these. Let's just, uh, let's grab a little coconut here. And then once you choose it, it'll say that it's looking and now it's configured uh, successfully. So you go on to the next uh, area which is style settings horizontal or vertical is going to be related to how the button down here uh, right here shows up so I'll just do vertical that means it's going to be underneath the email address you can choose to show the name uh, yes or no so I'll just choose yes so you can see what it looks like um, it, it has been proven research wise that if you do not have a name on there you end up collecting more emails uh, but it's up to you. It depends on what you're looking for and what you're trying to advertise and capture the lead for. You may or may not need or want their first name. And then these are the font styles that will show up. So you can choose any of these. And as you choose each of the items uh, under the font, it will show you what it looks like. 
So we'll choose that. And then here is the box that the text is going to show up on. You have a choice of black text on white black, black, uh, background, or you have a choice of white text on black background. Now, if you've changed the color up here like I did in this HTML box up here, then it will show up the color that you chose, or it will show up black and white, depending on the choice that you made. So um, I will put a black background, and it will be, if you remember, I chose red up there, so it'll be red on a black background. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put pick one of these buttons here. We'll just pick red to go with the font that I chose. Um, you also, if you have your own button, um, your Join Now button, or Take Action Now, or, um, you know, give me my info, whatever the button is you want it to say. If you have your own URL, you can put that in here and then your button will show up there instead of choosing one of these. And then um, the button effect, you can choose none, which means it's just it'll be a static still button. Or you can pick one of these items here, wiggle, wobble, swing, pulse, bounce, etc. So I'll just pick bounce. Uh, the box op opacity is whether or not you can see through that box, the text box, or uh, so that you can see the background through it, or if you want it to be completely black or white. So 100 would be completely black or white, and 10 would be barely visible at all, where you just pretty much see the text. So I'll just choose something around the middle so you can kind of see how that looks like. The footer text is going to be something like, we hate spam. We will not share your um, info. Um, we will only pr provide you with value. And sometimes, guys, I'll do um, I'll do a break like this because this is the HTML code again. Uh, break and skip a few all the way down. I'll do it, you know, all the way down uh, where I do break, 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 break all the way down, which it's not showing you going down. But you could keep t keep doing this little symbol, the uh, bracket, br bracket, um, and it will put space in between. So I guess I'll just show you what it looks like. Here, I'll do it the easy way here. Okay, and then you might put something like um, CC income disclaimers on our site um, or something like that. Okay, um, or you could put, you know, join me on Facebook here or and link it up uh, using the HTML, HTML coding or whatever you want to do for that. So, and as you guys should know, is if you are making income claims on your capture pages or in your videos or whatever you're doing, um, the um, the law related to that is that you do provide an income disclaimer. So, if you are making income, act, you know, income um, statements, you should say something or post something that says, you know, results may vary. If this is not typical. Um, we don't know what kind of you know, work ethic you have, whatever you want to say, but something to say, you know, my results are not necessarily going to be your results, just to protect yourself in the company that you are with. Um, you would not want the company to get in trouble for lots of affiliates or um, salespeople not making the income disclaimers uh, because the company can be held accountable for that and then everybody gets shut down. So you want to make sure that you do that. Okay, miscellaneous settings. I skipped some sections, but I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, so oops, now I gotta go back and find my link real quick. So I'm gonna go back here to autoresponder area where I put the first link in. Um, what this second link is, is it's a pop out. So if they go to your capture page and they do not put in their email address, when they exit out of your capture page, there will be an exit pop up and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, if you don't want an exit pop up, you can put nothing here, uh, but I never, um, I, I never make a capture page that doesn't have some sort of pop-up. Sometimes it's just the same lead, you know, landing page that I had initially. And if they don't put their email in, you know, maybe I put that same landing page when they're exiting out, so I don't collect their email right away. But the video or whatever's behind there may catch their eye, and then they end up opting in at, on that site. So that's why I do a pop-up. Um, additional video settings. This is if you use a video, uh, you can put. Um, whether or not you want to hear what the video is saying or you just want the image on the videos 
or um, and or you can put when you want the video to start. So it might be starting at you know two minutes and thirty two seconds. You put that in there, and then it'll start at that point. Um, and then the geo settings, uh, you are able to use these settings in order to um, target your your capture pages. So let's say you only want United States, you could come in here and, and put your geo settings in to where you know this particular capture page goes to only United States. But if you have an alternate URL, let's say you have um, a capture page and a um, or a video that's in Spanish or something. So if it's, you know, you may target something for Mexico and, um, you know, something like that or California or wherever there may be lots of Spanish speaking people, you may flip it over to go to this alternate URL where it will um, show the landing page that is in Spanish. So that's an, uh, another option here with the Epic Squeeze page. Okay, so I think that we have done everything. Usually what I do is just preview the page and make sure everything looks good before I publish it. Okay, so this is what the um, the uh, capture page will look like. Um, and I don't know if I would use this picture or not, but just for the um, demonstration here, that's it. That's what it looks like. I would probably go back and maybe um, put a break here behind the using so that this would come down just to look a little neater. Um, if you did not put that you wanted the first name to show up here, this would just have this writing here and the email here with the with the button. And I don't know if you noticed that when we first came on the page, this button bounced around a little bit to get some the attention of the person. Uh, and then down here is our footer that we put in. We hate the spam. We will not share your info, et cetera. And then you can see the break here. And then please see income disclaimers on the site. So that's what it looks like. And that's just a preview. So you want to get out of here. And that's the pop out here. Okay. So as you can see, when I went to exit out of there, my pop up uh, showed up. And that's the same video that after someone puts their email in, uh, that um, shows up for them. So it's just kind of a pop out and that, you know, that video starts to play and the music starts to play. And it, sometimes it catches people and brings them back to, uh, brings their attention back to you. And then you may end up getting an opt in anyway. Um, so that's that. Uh, and then what you would do is, um, Let's see, test page, just so I remember what's behind there, I'm going to put, and then you just publish it. And then what you do is, uh, depending upon if you want that to be masked or not, uh, you view the page, you get the link where that is, um, and then you can take it and put it in your bit.ly over here, or you can take it and uh, put it into your one of your domains. Uh, if you if it's that you have something like workwithjohn.com or something like that, you might want to go forward this, um, you know, coconut dot join or work with John or whatever it is, um, or it might be 300 dot uh, join work with John. So that's how you would do that. So that is all related to that. So like I said, guys, that it took a little bit longer to show you just because I was walking you through it. But literally, I can bang these out in you know, a couple minutes each. And it's quick. You can you can do lots of test splits. You can uh, or split testings. You can um, change the, you know, keep the same background, but change the font. You can change the button. You can make it wiggle instead of wobble or whatever it is. Um, I was going to show you a moving page real quick. If I can find it, here's one. And this is using a YouTube video that I found. Oh, nope, wrong one. Sorry about that. There's the pop out again. Wrong one, wrong one. I was looking for. There it is. That's one of them right here. Of the moving. So. And it'll depend on, you know, your your speed of your internet, whoever's opening up the video of how fast it goes. So this is just um, another idea of, of what you could use. Okay, so you can use anything. I've got one that a guy is skydiving and flying through the air, and so that one's kind of neat. And you just cut out the audio. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty wide open. You can use it with whatever you want. So... 
Um, that's it, guys. Epic Squeeze, and it's a WordPress plugin. It's super easy. And um, if you guys want any more information, I can put the link to Epic Squeeze right below the video where it goes. It's um, a Warrior Forum product, so it's sold there. So you can go and take a look at all the testimonials and um, He's got tutorial videos there, but it's like like I said, guys, super easy. It takes a couple minutes to do once you get in there and mess with it. Um, and I'll I'll um, tell you now, it's a little addicting once you get in there and you start uh, messing around. You know, you could you know if you're not watching your time, you could just spend hours on there just messing around with it and finding neat little pages and and you know split testing different things. So, um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, click the link below the video, and I'd be happy to answer them. As always, you can email me as well. And look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, guys.